everyone and friends, it's Tracy and Violet and Boris and Abby from Nova Scotia Living. Um, we just got back from our walk. I just made my coffee. Just gave them their breakfast. Okay, Violet, leave them alone. Come here. Come here. And uh, yeah, it is Sunday. So the boys got baseball today. And yeah. Yeah, but I'm just about to have my coffee. And I'll check back in a little bit. I still have some editing to do on different videos and stuff, so I might try to get some of that done today. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how the day plays on. Yes, Uncle Josh was showing you how to play this. We just got to the ballpark. I know, Uncle Josh is a great coach. I win again. Yes, that's not blood on his lip. Uh, that's um, red lollipop. <laughs> it looks like somebody punched him in the chops. <laughs> yeah, so he has never done this before. Uh, so, Evie! So, yeah, I'm going to sit here. He might be flying all around picking flowers. I don't know, but we'll see. Now he's talking to... Yeah. <laughs> very exciting, very exciting. Say hi to mommy. Look at me and say it. Hi, mom. <laughs> Don't climb the fence, Evie. Yeah, they're just running around and stuff. Uh, Evie's way out in that, like, field. Maze is going after him. He's just running. Yeah. Evie almost fell asleep in the car on the way here, so he'll have a good night's sleep tonight, running around and stuff. They're having fun. They haven't really started anything yet, but I'm going to stop and get um, buns on the way home because those chicken burgers we tried to barbecue yesterday, if you've seen that video, that didn't work on the barbecue. I fried them up when I went in the house, and... Um, We'll have chicken burgers and sliced cucumber or something like that. But I need to pick up Marquise and Kara too because they're in town. So after I pick them up, I can just run into the store, leave the boys, and we'll be fine. Oh, here comes Maze. Come home and try to relax a little bit. Yeah. And then, you know, she's like, is it time for ball? Oh, yeah. This is Evie's first time. He's not doing it. Yeah. Oh, there oh, he is. There <laughs> yeah, he almost fell asleep in the car on the way in. <laughs> yeah, he'll be sleeping good. Yeah, too. we had to keep talking to him to keep him awake. <laughs> oh, there's Evie going to his group. All four-year-olds. Perfect. out there between first and second base they're going to try to play a little game all right they're going to do like a mock game Woo, good one uh, Evie stands there <laughs> came in so they're gonna be hitting there's maze right there he's up next <laughs> I'm just I'm getting a little video of him that's all <laughs> no it's all right and Evie's in the box he was upset because he couldn't catch the ball but I said you're gonna go up and hit the ball so when he does we'll try to catch that too but maze is eager he's an eager beaver all right maze is up next all right come on maze
map. Oh, run, Maze! Run, 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 run! <laughs> He's coming for third. Let's see if he runs home after this hitter. <laughs> he was about to. He's going. It took a little convincing, but we'll see. Very exciting. Okay, now it's Evie's turn. Have one of his socks is up. <laughs> oh, run, Emmy! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Drop the bat! Run! <laughs> This is his very first time ever, so he, he doesn't know. <laughs> well, I told him to run to the lady with the white hat is what I told him, so that's what he did. <laughs> yeah. all done I got two all-stars here in the back seat we're just at Dairy Queen oh Evie don't say that my heart broke because I couldn't catch the ball you just need to practice darling it's okay it's okay not everybody can catch the ball I can't catch the ball I have to practice but um, anyways we're at the Dairy Queen drive through and it's taking forever we ordered three small ice creams so we'll do that and then we'll go pick up Marquise and Kara, and then we'll stop to the store. I'll just run in and get burger buns, and then we'll head home, and we'll be good. Now, Misha and Maziah have Quest for Knowledge tomorrow. That's a camp. Maze is too young for that. He might be able to go next year, but I think it starts at, I don't know, sometime in the morning. But anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Well, that was delicious. We're just waiting for Marquise and Kara, the Slowpoke twins, to come out. I might just stop to the dollar store for the burger buns because they're probably cheaper there. When you get eight in a pack, I'll tell them to get a couple packs. I'm going to send one of them in probably to get it. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. We're just winging it. All right, I got Marquise and Kara. Marquise don't have no shirt on, so I'll just go in and get some burger buns if I have some. Buns, Maze is bringing them in. Look. All that b-ball. Maze, you forgot the buns. You forgot the buns. Maze. 
Just put them by the step and I'll bring them in. I gotta bring in this beautiful baby boy. All right, these are those great value ones. There was eight in a box. Um, yeah. Anyways, I pan fried them the rest of the bit. I think they're done. I don't know. They look the same pretty much as they did before they were even on the barbecue. So just a little brown around the edges. But yeah, Mazaya wants two chicken burgers. All right, guys, it's 7.52.53. I just got done editing a video and I'm on my way to go pick up my husband and Misha because I brought the big black truck down um, just to get something switched on it. So I need to pick them up and come up. But Mally and Mazaya, Maze and Misha are all downstairs, which is fine. And Marquise and Kara are upstairs. I left the pups too because I'm driving my husband's new car, which I really don't want to drive. I love it. It's beautiful, but I don't want to be responsible for it. <laughs> I'd rather drive my car. But he has something in here, some papers that... I don't know. So I'm going to drive. I can't drive the back way, which I'd like to do, like the dirt roads, because it's a new car. So i got to drive down the other way. Suck it up, buttercup. I just need to do it. So let's boogie. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Good morning, friends. It's the next day, I think, but I'm gonna do another squisher. No, you can't go around that tree. Violet, come this way. Uh, Cause I smell smoke in the air. Not good smoke, like, <clears throat> I don't know what kind of smoke. Oh, she's pulling just a minute. Whew. All right, it's 6.38. We just got back. I just made a coffee and fed the pups. Violet went right back upstairs to bed, so she didn't have her breakfast yet. So I didn't put it down because Boris would end up gobbling most of hers up too. But he had a nice big bowl. And... Yeah, Misha and Mazari go to camp today. Yeah, but since the truck's not here, I'm going to have to drive Marquise and Kara. The brakes are going to be fixed on the van, thank God. Uh, but for today, the to drive Marquise, Kara, Misha, and Mazaya in. Marquise needs to be to work for 8. I think the girls' camp starts at 8.30 or drop-off is 8.30, so I'll have a half hour in there. But I don't have enough room in the car to bring anybody else, like the pups or anything. So they'll have to stay here. But my husband's still here. <coughs> but, yeah, just, I wanted to stay in bed, honestly. I was just nice and comfortable. But that's all right. I have a coffee here. I'm about to drink, and I'll be back. All right, we're in town. Violet and Boris were being doorknobs when I left. But my husband was getting up. Boris was barking up a storm, but we dropped Marquise and Kara off. I still have 20 minutes before the girls, so I said I'd come in here and get them a couple Gatorades, the dollar store. All right, guys. I just dropped the girls off a few minutes early because I didn't know if there was forms to fill out in the mirror. So I'm going to fill them out. When I pick them up today, I'll drop them back. And Misha's all got herself in a knot. I mean, she it's always gets a little starting anything new she's like oh I don't want to go and then she goes and has a blast that's normal and I said there isn't kids here right now because we came a little bit early but it's all good oh it's hot I'm all red and flushed I need to have a shower because I'm hot but it's quarter after 11 I haven't checked in in a while I've been talking with uh, the lady that's doing that seniors lunch program and I'm going to start tomorrow 
we're going to do the first run just to see. So I'll need to make 60 meals, like for, well, there's 30 people, two meals a week. So I just washed a whole bunch of big pots and slow cookers and stuff like that. So this, this afternoon when I go and get the girls, I'm going to stop and get some of the ingredients, the non-perishable stuff. And then tomorrow morning when I drop them off, I'll go pick up all the meat and the butter and the milk and stuff like that from her house. And it's going to be a marathon cooking tomorrow. I'm kind of excited. I'm Look, there's the slow cooker bodies and there's one over on the bench. Where is it? Oh no, they're all there. But, uh, yeah, anyways. <clears throat> I think this will kickstart me. I'm feeling much more energized since my vacation and today's a really hot day so I'm glad I'm not cooking today. Tomorrow's supposed to be a rainy day so it's a perfect day. I'm going to make a roast beef dinner and I'm going to make rapid pie. So I need to make 30 servings of rapid pie and 30 servings of roast beef, potatoes and vegetables. And then they'll go to her house, she'll freeze them and then she can deliver them. I'm not going to bake any rolls or biscuits this go around because this is the first one I don't want to be overwhelmed but the next time um, I'd probably do the baking the day before I got all the food to cook so it's not so so much but anyways yeah so I'm just prepping so I have all my equipment ready I'm gonna do the roast beef and slow cookers I will boil the whole chickens however many she sends and I'll be making rapid pie all day and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my, for my family for supper too, because I don't want to be making all this food and still not feed my family, right? So I gotta figure that out. But anyways, the boys just came inside. They were outside playing in the sand pile with wrestlers and uh, Tonka trucks, but they're bringing it upstairs to their room where the rest of the wrestlers are. I don't know. They're playing some game. And Mally and my husband went to town, so it's just me and the pups down here. Boris keeps looking at this pile of dishes. He's like, "What the heck is that?" Because I have it piled right up. I'm an expert at piling dishes in weird ways, I guess. Well, maybe not an expert. I've just been doing it for years. But I think I'll take the dogs out for a quick uh, quick little check to see if they have anything to do. Then I'll come back in and figure out what I'm going to do for supper for the kids tonight. All right, guys. My husband and Mally just got home. I'll show you what he got in town. He got some cheese, four things of mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, 50% off, some onions, some macaroni and cheese salad. We'll probably have that tonight with supper. Some boda. Two cucumbers. He got himself a fancy steak. 11.51. He'll probably barbecue this chicken. I do have steak that needs to be cooked too, so I'm going to get him. If he barbecues, I'll get him to barbecue that too. 8.38 and 8.63. A thing of hot Italian sausages. A 50% off salad. Got me a coffee. Two things of hamburger, 619 and 605. <coughs> and then I think he, I don't know if he got this at Superstore or what, but the French vanilla stuff. I think Mally probably picked that out. And Mally wanted some Nutella. So that's what he got. I'm going to have my second coffee of the day. I didn't even ask for it, but I'm going to drink it. And yeah, I'm feeling quite accomplished actually. I'm getting very excited about tomorrow to get back into the swing of things. I'll feel more like my old self and I almost feel like baking. I don't have the flour from the lady but maybe I'll use my flour and just replace it. I don't know. Can't say for sure. Alright guys, we're in town at the camp. We still have about 10 minutes so I'm here a little early. I did stop to the farm market. There's a, it's called Primes. Like, oh there's Messiah. They're just coming out there they're holding plants and stuff. Maybe they're going to plant flowers or I'm not sure. But anyways, um, yeah, I got potatoes and carrots in the trunk. It looks like two 10 pound pegs of potatoes and I don't know, three bags of carrots. I'm not sure, but I might get those peeled up tonight and just sit in cold water and cook them tomorrow morning. I'm not sure, but I have Boris and Violet with me. And since my size is here, I can tell her I won't have to get out of the car and they can just come out to the car when they're done, which will be good. And yeah, awesome. Oh, Dad just told me you whooped him. A basketball. You whooped Dad. <laughs> oh, close. 
Evie's pushing around a, I don't know if it's a Tonka truck or something. Okay, get it one more. I gotta check this chicken. Oh, close. You're a little far away. All right, my husband's been out here, but he did steak already. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. And he's gonna hit that up there. We're gonna have some food for the next couple of days. He wants me to check it to see if it's done. All right, guys. Here's that barbecued chicken. I just cut open a couple of pieces to make sure the juices were running clear and comes right off the bone. It's good. My husband's doing those sausages now and there is steak. Um, but I'm going to do this for supper. Uh, that's a salad he just got today and uh, one of those cucumbers. And it's just going to be a simple summer supper. Simple summer supper. There you go. So let me get some plates together and I'll show you. Right, guys I have styrofoam plates to use I hate styrofoam I hate it so much but I need to use them up so that's why I'm using them I've used them the past couple meals I think for stuff like this but this will be for Messiah um, or Misha or whoever uh, two pieces of chicken some English cucumber and some macaroni and cheese salad Oh, the sausages came off the barbecue, too, so they can have that if they want. You're hungry. You need to get your hands washed out there working so hard. But, yeah, I might have one of those bad boys. Hello. All right, friends, there's Maze right there, number 16. Um, where did Maze the soccer look? Misha picked some currants before she left. She wanted to come, and I stopped and got the Micha Gatorade because we're still it's still hot out. We've got her a pink one and an an orange one. That's his favorite color. And we're a few minutes early, actually, which is amazing. That's not like the, our usual self, Mish. We're usually just right on the cusp or a minute or two late. But we're here. Hip, hip, hooray. Oh, and since they got Gatorades, so I got myself a nice cold Aquafina. And... Yeah, on our way here, we seen a turtle in the road. A little turtle. It was almost on the side of the road, so I didn't stop. Like, it was really just right there, but I'm surprised right here in town. But, I don't know. All right, they're starting. All lined up. I think they're trying to get a group picture that they'll probably everybody will probably get at the end of the season or whatever that's her getting a group of all those kids together looking in the right direction smiling all at the same time <laughs> they broke up into groups now but Misha is walking up to Papa's house to see if he's home I said yeah as long as you're back by seven o'clock so it's only like five minutes from our house but it's our first time walking up there by herself so yeah, I'm sure everything will be fine. If not, I know where to go looking for. Alright, Maze's, like, group is right here. They have a net set up there and a net set up there. They're going to do, like, a little tiny game. He doesn't have one of the green jerseys on. He's, like, the ones without the little green thing over top of their jersey. Black shirt, number 16. Ooh, Maze, their little skirmish. Maze got a goal. Got a goal, that fancy footwork of yours. They're just having a little water break, or orange Gatorade break. Yeah. Are you having fun? That's good. I'm proud of you. All right, they're starting to cool down, and then they'll do their little cheer. The sky's pretty dark. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, but Misha's around here with her friend, Aubrey, who she hasn't seen. She moved away, but she's back, I think, with her cousin for a little while, so... They're hanging out way over there. But I said once they do the cheer, she has to come back.
Well, good morning, friends. It's the next morning. It's about 6.40. I set my alarm for 5.30 this morning. That didn't work out at all. Um, when I got home, what did I do last night? Oh, I brought uh, Maze to soccer. When I got home, Mally and I peeled 20 pounds of potatoes and 20 pounds of carrots. So that's going to be in like this marathon cooking, but here's a little clip. Yeah, so I planned on getting up early this morning to get all those carrots and potatoes cooked before I even left this morning, but no, I did have a shower last night too, and yeah, that's okay. That's going to be, all that food is for those senior meals. I plan on making, well you'll see it in the next video, but wrapper pie and roast beef dinner, but yeah, I'll just have to adjust my plan a little bit. But anyways, I want to end this video so I can start a whole fresh marathon cooking video. So what are you guys doing? It's raining out now too. Like it's not raining hard. Just a little bit above a sprinkle, but not quite raining. Here comes a car. Just a minute. I was, I shouldn't be yelling at you. Okay. Well, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, yeah, today's going to be a heck of a busy day. And then Misha has soccer tonight if it's not raining. Oh, Lord. Lord love a duck. We'll do it, though. We'll do it. Okay, with that, I'm going to say have a good night, or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Boink.